Fast forward, you need to come over to the news station. So I'm saying, how see? Aye, go by joint. Political stories are trending. Look, please make headlines. And aye, jump right. Now, it will be excellent. Oh wow! So, any of you who are watching this, and aye, it is the message. So, please subscribe to the channel. Hit on notification bell. Share. Now, for fun, so answer into me and can be and for your mom. And I'm in show on your case. So, why you say? You're more right. Simple people. Aye, for your marking. So, I'm not going to say you don't need your mom. Aye, I'm going to talk. And I'm going to say, aye, can you tell? And I'm going to say, aye, I'm going to say, ah, what you say? You. So we're fighting for what is going on in Parliament. You know? It's not for you know the benefit of the party and our CBR for Ghana as large, but for your one casa service interest. Okay, so a, a parliament, you know, abako abako sessions, a good sessions are started. The are two we been seated. Now we're gonna man your same. Say majority will turn into minority. Abraham to Aba. And see, the only thing I say. Nani e wo ni on person e dimbe da so se ono ni do ni time e na sadi an abentino e na wano anga se wo ni mse asema odi koko tun wo di hufo e nso omo aso odi koko ye e na mse omo anga se wo ni pa ne wo hunti na wo ni fro nso a MPP fro ni binso meno kasi mo chitu ah meno kasi bi ever se eh majority leader e ye afanyo markings omo e be yi majority ni every ni so amam ba be ye ordinary MP e o parliament. Na wengine sema hodo pia, kuswa, huo bei hiasa wosu mhudi yako eni dia ba wachana hizo, shana swa mse, hasi, aye kwa bei joint, mda sisi sawa jamre, ewa. Parliament, this is common sense. We are not supposed to complicate this matter. So wengine, a leader oni mnyansa, obetu mia fre speaker kase, speaker, me pesa bini anumi, mimi wamu shia behind the scenes, na me shesta di mtu maaye. Apart from Osei Mensa Bonsu be a foolish man, a criminal, and Osei Mensa Bonsu a very diabolic, way there, I'll give it to him. He would have maneuvered his way to make sure, say, even though go for way, they are forfeit, and I say, they have declared, say, they are not part of the NDC, and their seats are vacant, you know, he would have used intelligence to make sure, say, the NDC and Speaker will understand him to keep them, even though they are running as independent candidates. But what did we see? We saw an NPP leader. Afenyo Makina Wejimi. Today, the whole Ghana should understand the say. And there is a strike tomorrow. Nasa ubiya eji salaria. The person who has caused this is this stupid fool called Afenyo Makin. Because the government business has come to a halter. And this fool called Afenyo Makin. His temperament, his foolishness, his ego, his stupid and yet corrupt attitude. That his thinking say everybody is a fool. No? That is why today, say Ghana business, the government is not running again. Uh, it is because of this fool who cannot even stand in public to say, say oh, yeah, it, we need to understand, say, as we speak, you know. Ghana's ni makwa we Jimmy Emma de Ecosono and yet Alban Bagbi the Nimian Sana or put to the brakes to this uh Kagana Asena and yeah afenyo markin. The reason why I say this is then say oh say since say this banter, this back and forth, a study a see your parliament, you know. So what's the MPP ye pa? Omwa omuye MPP for omu can be bim. Nobody has come out openly to support Afenyo Markin. You know why? Because they know he's foolish. They know that the way he's approaching the issue, you know, they know that he's wrong. They know he has no basis for fooling himself. So nobody in the MPP are or you are a senior or bet me about wanting boldly to support a fool because he is not willing to learn. He's not willing to accept. He is not willing to submit himself. He's always thinking, sir. As far as oya corrupta when you sika edin ko fo yere no oni mnyan sache obia that is why you see only fools following afenyo marking we wo penyi odi afenyo marking KT Hammond we Jimmy and not Dompre these are refrains in the NPP and Kenya ku fo adwa and they will not be ministers they will not get any whip any positions in parliament in the west steady now atnasia Afenyo marking no NPP for nan ka se hu we Jimmy the day omo ye no eya my majority leader, I'm a catcher on my shoulder, said, This guy is a fool. He will run the NPP down. Now, let's say, Sir Speaker took a decision at winning John. 
There's a reason why uh, in parliament, you tweet to me a speaker say I want to see the leaders in chamber or the leaders in my chamber. Not because speaker with Jimmy o. It is because he wants to have a confidential conversation with you. On per se, mo members ne kwabeti. He is trying to show the members say you people basically you have positions that are important. So when anytime the speaker in parliament, abra a conversation because can say I want to take a break and meet the leaders. You no, know? he is even telling your other colleagues to say you have unique positions in parliament, and that he is elevating you to a pointer. Or per se, you are not just seen as ordinary members, but your position is very delicate and important. Into whatever you and speaker, or when speaker invites you to his chamber, now on Udin Koma, in the first place, he has shown you the biggest respect in your political career. The speaker even calling you behind closed doors, it does not matter the conversation, but whatever only speaker behind closed doors, no, you don't even talk about it. Because in the first place, for him to even just tell you alone to come to my chamber, it's respect enough. Because majority of the time, when you are called into secrecy, you are rebuked, you are corrected. Sometimes your suggestions are taken when you are called behind the scenes. And for Penini to call you behind the scenes, you know, not all show respect because he can stand before public and rebuke you. It's whenever you meet the speaker, whatever happens in Vegas, whatever happens in California, whatever happens in the strip club stays in a strip club. It does not matter whatever happened there, it stays there. It is a only speaker for a meeting. Now, so Pierre, ever back, be catch a Ghana for say this and this is what we spoke about away, Jimmy. You don't deserve to lead anybody, you are a fool. Now, look at this. You see this. After your marking, so she and PP Fuankasa Emrim as a political party, it states it clearly. The Ebema Obi Afofiti added the membership as an NPP member. The Ebetu Mamaka said, and they are Mujina Unia MPP Nibium. If somebody does this in the MPP, Unia MPP Nibium. For feature of membership, where MPP for Omankasa Omo Constitution Enye the woman One, a member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of the party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate when the party has sponsored a candidate in a general or by election automatically automatically forfeit his or her membership of the party yes see so we are mpp need now one say who declare say one you stand as an independent candidate and not automatically on your mpp need bm say okay support it obia sebio or running against the party no say publicly automatically who forfeit adding your membership as an mpp person so who crown pono at the end of the day party in the baby so party the discussion and the panel we need primaries now who contest it automatically you are not an mpp member all the things they've listed here is what has played out so in the first place the members now speaker crackers or almost seats have been vacated you no know, and i say they have vacated their seat you know even at party headquarters there are no more npp members Cynthia Morrison, whoever are ah, and there, Nidia Bim, say, and there, on no more MPP member in parliament, you know, automatically it has applied even at the party headquarters. Cynthia Morrison, on your MPP, ni. Sang conform me and Sana Moka Morrison, on your MPP for. So, what are you defending in parliament? Because your own party has made the statement clear. The moment you declare, sir, Obeko independence, stand for a primaries, be chosen, and your name goes to the EC, and then you are basically signed off as an independent party, automatically, NPP headquarters does not recognize you as an MP. You don't need to write a letter to them. 
You don't need to write a whole letter to MPP headquarters, mail it, put a stamp, and tell them your story. No. The moment that happens, because these things don't happen in a vacuum, it is public facts. Cynthia Morrison, Echo Contest, is an independent. It is public. The EC, that is a mandated body, supervised uh, the elections in Ghana. And uh, some of them who went as independent or crossing carpet, they saw it. So they don't even need to write any letter. Automatically, they have said they are not part of the NPP. And as we speak, did that NPP for you in our parliament, no? Morrison and those three people or two people, they are not even NPP again. They are not. So, what are you contesting in parliament? But Obi said, this is just party. We will deal with our party matter. But remember, party and this Cynthia Morrison about parliament. Party and the other people about parliament. So, you cannot separate the party from the person in parliament it is through the party the party was the springboard and that springboard has been attached to them and a, a more martina parliament so when you take the party away they are not supposed to be in parliament actually in the name say independent now so you're independent now we declare say you are no more independent that springboard name are independent you know it takes that seat from you because then all parliament as dying now i mean sure i could enter after your market or a jimmy for why the npp and the whole ghana should blame npp leadership and especially after your market why government business are stopping he is supposed to be blamed say npp they all need to turn around and say this fool needs to go because after your market has put npp in the place that they cannot come out right now what is happening is not about the party. It is not about Edien. It is not about a, 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 a parliament. It is about Afenyo marking the personal interest. Into one you're smart. Same people for one you're smarter. The personal interest into a gumu party, no? With Jimmy. It has become like he it has become like heroin. He's been addicted to power. So he's fighting his own battle on pain mugwasiye on person because time or your leader no moko position in power. He is just fighting a battle to redeem his selfish image. His, his selfish image. It is not about protecting the party or protecting Ghanaians. It it goes beyond that. Now, when you even read, look at read. Let's read this together. When you read the Constitution. It says this, Article 97 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana outlines the tenure of office of, for member of parliament. Specifically, Article 97H provides, and I quote, If a member leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to join another party or remains in parliament as an independent or under Article 97H, Parliament as an independent, or under Article 97H, if he was elected as an independent candidate and subsequently joins a political party, such an act will determine the tenure of that member of Parliament. So when you read the article, the Constitution of Ghana, it states it clearly. The moment uh, the party beba, ah, obey you in every party, you know, automatically, you know, sit in a court. And when you read the constitution, it does not give date, timelines. And can say, so we are in November, so we are in December, so we are in election day, we are in two days to election, we are in the first day in power. It says the moment that is done, you lose your seat. So the period does not matter. The date and day does not matter. So those people making arguments say, oh, Alban Bagbin, why at this time? No, so what, what time is the best time? Because the constitution you know, did not stipulate that if it is three months to election, if it is six months to election, if it is two days to election, the constitution says, as far as Obeya Sano, say, I got three days to election, cry, you, that seat is vacant. You have relieved that seat. You are no more a member of that party you wrote on to come to parliament. So, what is the conversation here? It is because Afinoma can who say NPP phone Jimmy. He is just building his political career from this. He is just building his sad life. 
He's building his corrupt political life from this at the expense of a political party. Because you see the things happening and you could see clearly it is not even about the issues. It is about the, the embarrassment he doesn't want to absorb. The embarrassment that he, wasn't want, he doesn't want to be associated with. It is that political ambition there when it's him, you know, into he's throwing the party under the bus. But um, so many MPP people, you know, they have been, their minds have been clouded by party. So they are not able to reason. If they are able to reason beyond the way they reason, I'll be able to ask you, is doing them more damage. Right now, government uh, yeah, business has halted. Why not affect you know? it? affects Ekufuado, Baumia, and the NPP. Does it affect the NDC? No. So, who is right now destroying this nation? It is Afenyo Makin and the NPP. Until right now, no. Afenyo Makin is a problem, no. For you to see, say, majority of NPP MPs are Sebio, you want some experience, or Moody and Casabio, one Yasaka Crano, leaving Afenyo Makin to be fooling alone, no. You have to understand, say, they know the guy is a fool. They know the fight now. The guy is fighting. No? It's not about Ghana. It is not about the constitution. It is not about protecting anything. It is about protecting his ego. Because now Julian say, "Sir, a majority the different in Sima Sebio, you try to cut it." Now Julian no. He thinks he say, "Yeah, just a majority the different in Sima no. Yeah, just a bare bare different in Sima." So he has become useless, even though. It must be some of your daily update even so. To a parliament, you know, she's sitting there in the name of NPP. In the sender, verbally or indirectly, or when the facts are showing, say, she has declared indirectly, whether direct or indirectly, when the facts are showing, say, she no more wants to do business with NPP as she ceases to be a member of the NPP in parliament. This is common sense. We are not supposed to complicate this matter. So when you a leader or nimi nyansa, obet me a fre speaker kase speaker me pese bi nyanu mi me ni omu share behind the scenes na me share se debate ma ye. Apart from osel mensa bonsu be a foolish man, a criminal, and osel mensa bonsu a ye very diabolic. Way there I'll give it to him. He would have maneuvered his way to make sure say even though go for way they are forfeit and i said they have declared said they are not part of the ndc and their seats are vacant you know he would have used intelligence to make sure say the ndc and speaker will understand him to keep them even though they are running as independent candidates but what did we see we saw an npp leader today the whole ghana should understand say say and the there is a strike tomorrow. That's a be a salary. The person who has caused this is this stupid fool called Afinyo Makin. Because the government business has come to a halter. And this fool called Afinyo Makin, his temperament, his foolishness, his ego, his stupid and yet corrupt attitude, that his thinking say everybody is a fool. No, that is why today it's a Ghana business. The government is not running again now. Uh, it is because of this fool who cannot even stand in public to say, say, oh, yeah, we need to understand, say, as we speak, you know, Ghana's Nimakwa, where Jimmy, Emma, the air course, you know, and yeah, Alban Bagby, the Nimi Nyansana, or put to the brakes to this, uh, Kagana, Asena, and yeah, Afenyo Markin. The reason why I say this is, then I say, oh, say, since, say, this banter, this back and forth, Study a C or parliament, you know. So, what's the MPP? The pa or more, or more MPP for or more can be boom. Nobody has come out openly to support Afinio Markin. You know why? Because they know he's foolish, they know that the way he's approaching the issue, you know, they know that he's wrong, they know he has no basis for fooling himself. So, nobody in the MPP are. Save your yes, where you're a senior or bet me about wanting boldly to support a fool because he is not willing to learn, he's not willing to accept, he is not willing to submit himself. He's always thinking, say, as far as or a corrupter, when you seek a dink of why you know, only me answer that is why you see only fools following Afinomakin. What would pay you the Afinomaki? Katie Hammond with Jimmy 
are not done pray. These are refrains in the NPP. And Kenya Kufuadwa, and they will not be ministers. They will not get their whip air positions in parliament. In the same state in our Tunisia, after your market, no NPP for Nanka said, "We saw with Jimmy the day I'm here, no, my majority leader, I'm a catcher on my shoulder." Said this guy is a fool. He will run the NPP down. Now, let's see. Says so Speaker took a decision at winning John. There's a reason why uh, in Parliament, yet with Tunisia, Kasa Speaker said, "I want to see the leaders in chamber." Or the leaders in my chamber. Not because speaker with Jimmy. It is because he wants to have a confidential conversation with you. On per se, mo members in the He is trying to show the members say, you people, basically, you have positions that are important. So when anytime the speaker in parliament, abra a conversation because can say, I want to take a break and meet the leaders. You no, know? he is even telling your other colleagues to say, you have unique positions in parliament. And that he's elevating you to a pointer. You are not just seen as ordinary members, but your position is very delicate and important. Into whatever you and speaker, or when speaker invites you to his chamber, now on in the first place, he has shown you the biggest respect in your political career. The speaker even calling you behind closed doors. It does not matter the conversation. But whatever only speaker never can behind closed doors, no, you don't even talk about it. Because in the first place, for him to even just tell you a load to come to my chamber, it's respect enough. Because I headmasters, the majority of the time when you are called into secrecy, you are rebuked. You are corrected. Sometimes your suggestions are taken when you are called behind the scenes. And if for Penny to call you behind the scenes, you know, now I will show respect because he can stand before public and rebuke you. And whenever you meet the speaker, whatever happens in Vegas, whatever happens in California, whatever happens in the strip club, stays in a strip club. It does not matter whatever happened there. It stays there. And it's a only speaker call a meeting. This and this is what we spoke about away Jimmy. You don't deserve to lead anybody. You are a fool. Now look at this. You see this? I've been marking. So NPP Fuankasa Emrim as a political party. It states it clearly. The Ebema Obi Alpha Fifty area, the membership as an NPP member. If somebody does this in the MPP, on your MPP nibium. For feature of membership, where MPP for Omankasa Omo Constitution, one, a member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of the party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate when the party has sponsored a candidate in a general or by election automatically automatically forfeits his or her membership of the party you see so we are mpp need now one say who declare say one, you stand as an independent candidate and not automatically on your MPP BM. Say, Oko support Obia Sebio or running against the party, no? Say, publicly, automatically, oh, for 50 ADN, your membership as an MPP person. Say, oh, Krampono, at the end of the day, party in the say, party in the discussion, and you win the primaries. Now, Oko contest it, automatically, you are not an MPP member. All the things they've listed here. Is what has played out. So, in the first place, the members now speak a cracker say almost seats have been vacated, you know, and I say they have vacated their seat, you know. Even at party headquarters, there are no more NPP members. Cynthia Morrison, whoever are ah, and there, Nidia Bim say and the onion no more MPP member in parliament, you know, automatically it has applied even at the party headquarters. Cynthia Morrison, on your MPP need. San for me and San Omaka Morrison Hono. Omunya MPP for. So what are you defending in Parliament? 
Because your own party has made the statement clear. The moment you declare, sir, Obeko independence, stand for a primaries, be chosen, and your name goes to the EC, and then you are basically signed off as an independent party automatically. NPP headquarters does not recognize you as an MP. You don't need to write a letter to them. You don't need to write a whole letter to LPP headquarters, mail it, put a stamp, and tell them your story. No. The moment that happens, because these things don't happen in a vacuum, it is a public fact. Cynthia Morrison, Echo Contest, is independent. It is public. The EC, that is a mandated body, supervised uh, the elections in Ghana. Emma, some of them who went as independent or crossing carpet, they saw it. So they don't even need to write any letter. Oh, we will deal with our party matter. But remember, party and this Cynthia Morrison about parliament. Party and the other people about parliament. So you cannot separate the party from the person in parliament. It is through the party. The party was the springboard and that springboard has been attached to them and they're more watching a parliament. So when you take the party away, they are not supposed to be in parliament. Actually, omo omo buy in the name say independent. Now, so you're independent. Now we declare say you are no more independent. Huh? That springboard name, we're independent, you know, it takes that seat from you. Because then our parliament as dying. Now, I mean sure I could enter after your marking or Jimmy for why the NPP and the whole Ghana should blame NPP leadership and especially after your marking why government business are stopping. He is supposed to be blamed. Say so NPP Nimansa, they all need to turn around and say this fool needs to go. Because after your marking has put NPP in the place that they cannot come out. Right now, what is happening is not about the party. It is not about Edien. It is not about a, 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 a parliament. It is about Afenyo marking the personal interest. Into one you smart. Same people for one you smarter. The personal interest into a big party. No, with Jimmy. It has become like he. It has become like heroin. He's been addicted to power. So he's fighting his own battle on pain Muguasie on person because time or your leader and no position in power. He is just fighting a battle to redeem his selfish image, his, his selfish image. It is not about protecting the party or protecting Ghanaians. It, it goes beyond that. Now, when you even read, look at read, let's read this together. When you read the constitution. It says this, Article 97 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana outlines the tenure of office of, for member of parliament. Specifically, Article 97H provides, and I quote, If a member leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to join another party or remains in parliament as an independent or under Article 97H, Parliament as an independent, or under Article 97H, if he was elected as an independent candidate and subsequently joins a political party, such an act will determine the tenure of that member of Parliament. So when you read the article, the Constitution of Ghana, it states it clearly. The moment uh, the party beba, ah, obey you every party, you know, automatically you know, sit in a court. And when you read the constitution, it does not give de- timelines. And can say, so we are in November, so we are in December, so we are in election day, so we are in two days to election, so we are in the first day in power. It says the moment that is done, you lose your seat. So the period does not matter. The date and day does not matter. So those people make an argument and say, oh, Alban Bagbin, why at this time? No, so what, what time is the best time? Because the constitution you know, did not stipulate that if it is three months to election, if it is six months to election, if it is two days to election, the constitution says, as far as Obeya Sano, I got three days to election, cry, you that seat is vacant. You have relieved that seat. You are no more a member of that party you rode on to come to parliament. So, what is the conversation here? It is because Afinoma Kimuse NPP Fone Jimmy. He is just building his political career from this. He is just building his sad life. He's building his corrupt political life from this at the expense of a political party. Because you see the 
things happening and you could see clearly it is not even about the issues it is about the the embarrassment he doesn't want to absorb the embarrassment that he wasn't want he doesn't want to be associated with it is that political ambition that when it's you know, into he's throwing the party under the bus but um, so many mpp people know they have been their minds have been clouded by party so they are not able to reason if they're able to reason beyond the way they reason i'll be to afrika market is doing them more damage right now government a year business has halted why not affect you it affects ekufuado baumia and the npp does it affect the ndc no so who is right now destroying this nation it is afrika market and the npp you see right now no afrika market a your problem no for you to see, say, majority of NPP MPs are experienced, leaving Afrika Market to be fooling alone. No? You have to understand, say, they know the guy is a fool. They know the fight now, the guy is fighting. No? It's not about Ghana. It is not about the constitution. It is not about protecting anything. It is about protecting his ego. Because Nigerian say, Sir, a yet majority, a different in Sima, Sibio, you try to cut it. I don't know. It's a way and some of the